Hey guys, uh, sitting in the kitchen. I have taken it to heart. I need to focus a little bit more on uh, quality over quantity when it comes to my videos. Uh, folks say I'm riled up, passionate, whatever. Uh, it is called Wigging Out. That's what the channel's called. Uh, I made a heartfelt post yesterday that uh, I've been wanting to correct some of the numbers I got. Uh, I absolutely believe that if uh, Waldo, the building, can't be saved and the city of Clarksburg can't be saved, I believe that 100%. But had the 5G installed, uh, I mean, the Pfizer vaccine, I just didn't feel great yesterday, and I, I'm, I messed some numbers up. Was I angry today, riled up about the cats? Yeah. You know, you go back behind the wall, though, and every windowsill's got one or two homes for cats in it. Felt the same way as I and a lot of others felt about the Clarksburg mission. Um, it's great to help homeless people but at some point it's too much if you want to help people don't put that burden off on other people because it, it, at that point is it really about helping them or is it just about making yourself feel good quick facts and figures about the Waldo Hotel this is what I really need of my message so to speak um I have various studies at my disposal, and I'm sorry I can't footnote them in a YouTube video. But I tried to bring them all up using inflation calculators to uh, current dollars. Um, in the Pittsburgh market, which we roughly are, uh, the cost of building an equivalent size hotel in place of the Waldo would be about $23 million. Uh, the cost of rehabbing the Waldo would be about 17 to 21 And that doesn't mean pristine, absolute, historic preservation. It just means making a nice hotel, functional hotel in there. That's historic, you know. 1721, but then you get uh, state and federal historic preservation tax credits, which bring that spend down to about 11 to 11.5. What's the cost of uh, demolishing the Waldo? This is real talk, folks. And when you hear the number, you'll understand why the previous administration backed off. They had someone actually get the number. One of their demolition contractors quoted them. Inflation adjusted, four to six million. I could think of a hundred things you want to spend four to six million on before bringing that building down. What's the cost of uh, remediating safety hazards, fixing the roof? About one point seven million. Two, be gener you know, be generous and call two. But you could stagger it over the course of the next three, four years, or whatever, and get what they call SHPO grants, State Historic Preservation Office grants, where the state matches half. Now, I'm not saying the city should do it. I'm just saying if. If the concern really, really, really was public safety, they could remove the public safety hazard for no more than one-fourth the cost of demol demolishing the building. Holler at you later, folks.